For the longest time, the richest people are usually dominated by tech moguls such as Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos. However, the French luxury tycoon Bernard Arnault squashed the list. The question is, how did he do it? Let's find out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll find out how Louis Vuitton CEO squashed tech moguls to $200 billion. But before anything else, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as well. You can also click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our future videos either. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. The world was left in surprise when finally, the richest person in the world is no longer a middle-aged American tech mogul, rather a septuagenarian European from the century-old business of selling luxury goods. In April of this year, the head of luxury goods group Louis Vuitton, Bernard Arnault, tied with Jeff Bezos, the Amazon founder, for being the richest person in the world. The French concluded with $186 billion after the company's shares closed nearly a half a percent higher in Europe. While Arnault celebrates its success, Amazon's stock dropped by a little more than 1%, grabbing $2.3 billion off of Bezos' net worth thus placing both men at the $186 billion mark. Despite the damages of the pandemic, Arnold was able to see his fortune more than double in the past year as his company's global sales skyrocketed. In the first quarter of last year, the revenue from the group's fashion and leather goods unit surged by 52%. Up to date, Louis Vuitton shares have grown by 20%. It is not a known fact that the French conglomerate also owns 70 luxury fashion houses that includes Fendi, Christian Dior, Givenchy, and others. Back in January, the company completed the $16 billion acquisition of the Timeless Jeweler of Tiffany & Co. The Timeless Jeweler is now spearheaded by Louis Vuitton's U.S. chief, Anthony Ledru, together with Alexander, Arnault's son, who is also appointed to Tiffany's leadership team following the merger. The takeover is the company's biggest acquisition since its $13 billion merger with the brand Christian Dior back in 2017. For the longest time, the world's richest person used to be held by the same man Bill Gates was at the top for over two decades until Bezos surpassed him in 2017 and widened the lead since then. However, the Amazon founder gave away a quarter of his fortune to his now ex-wife as part of their divorce settlement back in early 2019. This for sure made a huge dent in Bezos' net worth. Since then, the competition has become close for a handful of multi-billionaires. Earlier this year, Bezos was topped by Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, after the company's stock skyrocketed over eight-fold in 2020. But currently, Arnault leads Bezos by just a fine line of $300 million. Just as the market closed, Arnault was roughly $100 million richer than Bezos. This is not the first time a close race has happened. Back in December of 2019, Arnault edged past Bezos until the stock of Amazon closed higher putting the French tycoon back to number two. Since then, both men are $76 billion richer and their fortunes have grown along with the share price of Louis Vuitton and Amazon. In Forbes' 2021 billionaire list based on stock prices, Bezos ranked number one with $177 billion, while Arnault was in third place with about $150 billion. In between is the Tesla chief Elon Musk, and since then, the shares of Louis Vuitton have soared by nearly 21%, tripled in the 7% rise in Amazon stock. Arnault now owns about 46% of the company, including a 6% direct stake in the group and a 40% stake through Christian Dior, which owns 41% of the company. Company. Arnault owns about 97.4% of Dior and also owns 8.6% in French luxury house Hermes and about 1.9% in French supermarket chain Carrefour Market. All of these landed Arnault to where he is now, but who knows what the future holds. That's it for today, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we put out for you guys. We're signing off for now, but we will surely catch you all in the next one.